Welcome, folks, to another Game Hoarder Let's Play. We're going to be doing the Curse of Monkey Island, aka Monkey Island 3. My bud, Mr. Satan, requested for me to get this one done. And that's what I'm fucking here to do fulfill request. Let's do the curse of Monkey Island Mega Monkey. The real fucking Monkey Island Masters. Deep in the Caribbean, Monkey Island. Captain's log. Guybrush Threepwood. Lost at sea for days now. I have no crew or navigational instruments. No provisions except a half-eaten corn dog, and unless I find water soon, I'm surely done for. Only the hope of finding my love, Elaine, keeps me going. And my quest for the fabulous treasure called Big Whoop has left me in this sorry state. I thought it would bring me fame and glory. Instead, it delivered me into the clutches of my enemy, the zombie pirate LeChuck. I thwarted his evil plot to marry Elaine, and he was after revenge. Uh, really, really thirsty now. If only I could have a small drink of fresh water, I might have the strength to sail on. Oh, but I know there's nothing but ocean for miles and miles. If I could reach land, I might find water and some food. Fruit, maybe. Something to fight off the scurvy and help me get my strength back. Hmm, maybe some bananas. Oh, why do I torture myself like this? I might as well wish for some chicken and a big mug of grog for all the good it'll do me. Oh, my sweet Elaine. Am I cursed to starve here on this ocean without seeing your face just one more time? Am I...
times do I have to tell you, LeChuck? I just don't feel that way about you. Elaine? By my congealed blood, you'll learn to love me. Sail with me, and I'll make you queen of the dead. I, I can't. I'm washing my hair tonight. Blast be your hair, woman! Can't you see that this salty old sea corpse pines for your every gentle caress? You know, I don't think my father would approve of me dating the undead. And you're probably too nice a zombie pirate for me anyway. Let's just be friends instead. Chuck, you're an evil, foul-smelling, vile, codependent villain, and that's just not what I'm looking for in a romantic relationship right now. Darn your riddles, you saucy female! What do you mean? Ah! Oh! You're a bloodthirsty monster who's already kidnapped me once, tortured my friends, and taken from me the only man I ever loved, Guybrush Threepwood. Ah, uh, how romantic. Ship ahoy! Threepwood! Fish him out. Guybrush? Guybrush, Threepwood. By my gangrenous gut, I don't know how you escaped my carnival of the damned. But you won't escape a taste of my blade! <laughs> ah! Oh, the lass has spirit. Throw him in the hold, I'll finish him after the battle. Turn loose the long boats! And prepare the flaming voodoo cannonball. The demise of the zombie pirate Ludchuck, part one. I've got to get out of here and help Elaine. Well, let's see here. Let's put on subtitles. Let's... Can't we do both? What the fuck? There we go. Slip over the side and make for the shore. Quit your mumbling, Captain! Look, it's... It's little Pipsqueak Wally! Blast ye scurvy dogs! Right, we have some helium balloons from our previous adventure in Monkey Island 2. This'll make you rue the day. Avast, you swabs. Prepare for your doom. Stay away. Wow, a little pipsqueak is armed and dangerous. I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Who are you? I'm the evil pirate Bloodnose. The wickedest fiend ever to sail under the banner of King Death. I'd as soon chew your nose off as look at you. You sound pretty tough. Oh, I'm so tough. In junior high, I stuffed Davy Jones in his locker. Are you wearing a fake beard? Blood knows the pirate would not have a fake beard. Yes, it is. It's been glued to your ear hair. Actually, it's a highly sophisticated beard weave made from the chest and back hair of real pirates. I'm hoping it'll take root if I don't wash it for a while. Hey, wait a minute. You're not a pirate. Wally! Don't you recognize me? It's Guybrush Threepwood. Oh, gee. Hello, Mr. Wood. The last time I saw you, we were prisoners in LeChuck's dungeon. Why would you sign on with a ship of the living dead? Well, Mr. Brush, at first I had some misgivings about it. 
But thanks to LeChuck's seminars, motivational lectures, and audio books on Parrot, I've become a vicious Corsair. You can too. Ask me how. Vicious Corsair? More like a red pubic hair. Give me a break. Fucking pips quick. Tell me about these seminars. The seminars really brought things into focus. You don't know how empowering it is to be able to say to yourself, yes, I am a despicable, filthy, villainous pirate, deserving blame and censure, but that pirate is who I want to be. Everyone was really very supportive. We had this great feeling of synergy. Then LeChuck kicked down the door and said, you lazy scum, get back to work or I'll beat you with your own legs. Do you have any literature I could look at? Here. This leaflet explains the basic philosophy I follow. I'm not in the mood for sales hype. You're a failure as a pirate. Shut your trap, you yellow-bellied blowfish. One more peep out of you and I'll do you in. Try it, Shrimpy. Yes, scabrous swab. One more word and I'll let you have it. Word. That's it. I'm gonna blast you. I'm gonna... I'm... gonna... <laughs> um, I can't do it. I just can't. <laughs> You're right, Mr. Wood. I'm just not a pirate. I'm not ferocious or bloodthirsty or hateful or anything. I'm not even... I'm not even unpleasant. Oh! Ah! Oh, there, there. What a little fucking baby. Go to take his hook. He won't be needing it anymore. <laughs> Let's take Team Ramrod over here as well. <laughs> Shove that down in my pants. Your bag of bones. Hey, I'm getting pretty good at this. Ooh, gross. All the bones and stuff are flowing towards the ship. I can't quite squeeze past this cannon. <laughs> well, they messed with the wrong skull this time. <laughs> Reminds me of Murray. If I could just get my hands on that gunner. that rope. Guybrush looks like a lanky penis in this version. He seemed a little bit more bulky in the previous games. 
Now, with the demon flames of this voodoo cannonball, I'll blast my significant other into the significant other world. <laughs> That'll show her how much I truly care. <laughs> Neptune's navel, that was a close one. Oh, no! Hey, I lost my cutlass when the ship capsized. Look at all this treasure! No self-respecting pirate would be seen wearing that. It's LeChuck and all his gory. Duh, glory. It's a bag of wooden nickels. Some treasure. Hey, there's a big diamond ring behind this bag. Brush, I guess I did. Elaine, I'm a man of action. A swashbuckler, a rogue, a wanderer, a man who can hold his breath for ten minutes. I have no ties and no regrets. I sail with the wind and go where adventure takes me. But somehow something always Guy brush, me. stop babbling. Elaine, will you marry me? Oh, Guy Brush. Cha ching oh. Wally? You're alive! But how did you survive the explosion? I was thrown clear. I'm just lucky I wasn't wearing my seatbelt. Wow, Elaine, that's some ring. Thank you, Wally. It's an engagement ring from Guybrush. Hey, that looks just like the big diamond ring that Chuck had in his treasure hold. You know, the one with that ghastly, disfiguring voodoo curse on it. Well, I'm sure Guybrush wouldn't have given you that ring. Anyway, I've got to be going. I hear there's a tattoo removal <coughs> place on this island that's freckle safe. See you at the wedding. Guy brush! Uh... Sweet. The curse gets worse. Part two. Oh no. Elaine? Oh, she's not gonna be happy about this. Sweet. Guybrush has the Midas touch. He turns his bitch to gold. It's gonna be kind of hard to tap that, though. Ouch! Yeah, usually picking up glowing embers is kind of hot, you dip dick. All right, this is the Monkey Island map. This is, of course, the first Monkey Island game that used the animation, cartoon-style graphics. Uh, it was all done with, uh, of course, the pixels that we're remembering in uh, Monkey Island 1, Secret of Monkey Island, and 2, LeChuck's Revenge. Uh, so there are quite a bit of cutscenes here that are animated, as you've seen. All the locations here that we haven't visited are question marks. And of course, the fort is the only place we've been to so far. It's 
go here to this sh ship in the swamp. Boom! Ha! <laughs> I am Murray, the invincible demonic skull. I bring you warning from the infernal realms. Do not go farther into the swamp. Turn back, turn back. Darkness will envelop you. It's Murray. The little floating fuck skull. How'd you get all the way up there? Through sheer force of will. Uh-huh. All right, there was a bunch of those weird voodoo kids. They found me on shore and put me on top of this spike all the time thinking they were so funny. Do you need me to help you down? Help! I need no help from you foolish mortals. I am Murray, the all-powerful demonic skull. Okay, just thought I'd ask. Don't get me wrong, I do appreciate the offer. Do you know anything about lifting curses? Oh, right, I know a lot about lifting curses. That's why I'm a disembodied talking skull, sitting on top of a spike in the middle of a swamp. You seem bitter. I'm sorry, it's been a rough day. What are you doing up there? I am standing as a testament. Standing? Hanging as a testament to the power of the forces of evil that will one day claim victory over the entire Earth. How long are you going to keep doing that? As long as it takes. Must get pretty dull up there, I suppose. Never! The powers of darkness are never dull. We will one day prove that... Oh, who am I trying to fool? I'm bored out of my skull. Figuratively speaking, of course. You seem restless. Oh, I don't know. It's just that not many people come through this swamp. What would you rather be doing? I need to be out among the lesser people, terrifying them and causing pain and misery. That would make you happy? Yes, happy in a dark demonic way. I'd love to stay in chat, but uh, I gotta go. All right, everyone say goodbye to Murray. Talk to you later. What a relief. Bitch. I mean the voodoo lady. Who are you and how did you just appear like that? I am one gifted with a second sight, adept at manipulating the forces of nature for the benefit of all who enter my door. You're a fashion consultant. Well, yes, but that's not what I was referring to. I am a voodoo priestess. <sighs> Neat. You're an autumn, by the way. Nice place. I love what you've done with it. Thank you. You'll have to excuse the mess. The kids came over to play with their paper voodoo dolls. They're adorable children. Would you like to see some pictures? Perhaps later. Yes, there's no time for that now. I sense that something terrible has happened. Hey, you're good. Something terrible has happened. I finally proposed to Elaine. Congratulations. That doesn't sound so terrible. And when I placed the engagement ring on her hand, she was placed under a horrible pirate curse and trapped for eternity as a solid gold statue. Oh, that explains it. I was struck with a wave of overwhelming hatred and anger. Yeah, that LeChuck was a pretty mean guy. I was talking about Elaine. Well, there's no time to worry about that now. We have to hurry. Do not panic, Guybrush. She will be safe until we can break the curse. You only have to worry about her being stolen. Where did you hide her? Hide her? You didn't hide her? She's a solid gold statue on an island full of pirates. What were you thinking? Go, Guybrush, hurry before you're too late. Elaine! 
to get her back. This is so embarrassing. You walking dildo. Looks like I'm gonna need some more help. Someone's stolen Elaine. That is unfortunate. It will be difficult to get her back. Do you know who kidnapped her? Not for certain, but I suspect that it's the mangy pirates anchored in Danger Cove. Can you give me something to lift the curse? No. LeChuck's curse is a very powerful one. Fueled by his anger and his intense frustration in dealing with the opposite sex. I have nothing here to lift so powerful a curse, but there is one way. Great! Tell me! You have to replace the cursed ring with a pure one of greater or equal value. A good guideline is two months' salary. Where am I going to find a huge, uncursed diamond ring? Legends speak of a whopping big diamond ring on Blood Island. Blood Island? I've never heard of it. You will soon become quite familiar with it. But you must be careful, Guybrush. I have foreseen that your journey will be filled with peril and deception. I have also seen that Blood Island will be the place where you will die. Uh-huh. So, uh, any huge uncursed rings on any other islands? No. The value of the ring on Blood Island comes from its emotional significance. It represents a pure, true love. A power greater than any other. Oh, that's sweet. I, I think I have something in my eye. Do not mock the voodoo priestess. Blood Island, here I come. I finally defeated LeChuck and his skeleton pirates. True evil can never be destroyed completely. But I heard him blow up and everything. You'd be surprised at how much abuse an evil undead zombie pirate can take. Well, how can I finally destroy him for good? No one knows. His power seems to grow with every incarnation. You may have dealt with him for now, but this respite can only be temporary at best. When I finally found Big Whoop and was enormously disappointed. Big Whoop is pure evil. You were lucky to escape alive. I can't remember much about it. Just that I was expecting so much more and felt so let down. Yes, it is the source of much of LeChuck's power. I'm never going back there again. I have foreseen otherwise. You will return to Big Whoop and confront LeChuck once again. I'm sick of talking about that jerk LeChuck. I want to know what voodoo spell you're working on. Voodoo spell? Oh, this. This is just a fondue I'm making for tonight. Would you like to try it? Does it have any skink toes in it? A few. I'll pass. I want to know more about safe hair replacement systems. I can imagine. Didn't you have a beard the last time I saw you? I sure did. A really cool one. I wonder what happened to it. I want to know more about a diet I can live with. I'll share with you knowledge passed from mother to daughter in my family for generations. What's that? Low fat, high fiber. It works. Yeah, looks like it's working real good with you, fatso. Thanks for your help. Gotta go. Alright folks, we'll continue more of this crazy adventure in the next episode of Let's Play Curse of Monkey Island. Thank you for watching. <laughs>